Hey y'all, I'm Hannah Brown and I'm about to give Marie Claire a sneak peek into my personal library. Welcome to Shelf Portrait. So a book that I read really recently, like finished this week, that I loved uh, was The Paper Palace. I read a lot of self-help books, which I think are great, but I told myself I wanted to get back into reading novels more. Two storylines going on simultaneously. So one storyline's happening within the day, while the other one's happening over like 50 years. So it's really interesting to see how they all come together. One book you guys may not expect that I like uh, is Sharp Objects by Gillian Flynn. This book is freaky and kind of scary and I actually really love uh, mysteries and thrillers. So I read this book after I read Gone Girl because I just really liked um, the author's writing and this one stuck with me. Like I think about this book all the time. It was just really creepy. This woman goes back to her hometown to solve a murder mystery. It stayed with me for far too long, but like I said, a good book is one that you think about even afterwards. The author that I would love to read to me before bed or read to me at any time is Oprah Winfrey, for sure. Um, I actually have her book, What I Know For Sure, uh, but it's just for looks because I think it's pretty because I listened to this on audio, like an audio book of it. And I listen to her podcast. I love that woman's voice. And there would be moments I would just start crying. It, it just really resonated with me, on, honestly, more than reading the book. Because I started a few chapters reading it and it's a beautiful book but her voice just really captures the emotion. I would highly recommend listening to Oprah Winfrey's voice at any time. One of my favorite books that I've read that really helped me a lot and was also so funny was Buy Yourself the Fucking Lilies. It is so good. It is, it's talking about trauma and healing from your trauma and like loving yourself and learning to love yourself, but in a way that makes even the dark things that the author talks about funny. A lot of times these self-help, let's get better together books can be Debbie Downers at some times, like, you know, but this one made me laugh and cry and it really gave me a lot of lessons that I've applied to my life and I buy myself the fucking lilies too. So this is my favorite book of all time. It's the only book that I've read more than once other than my own book. <laughs> um, I keep multiple copies of it and this book really helped me with my faith and also just like my love of reading. Um, Francine Rivers is an amazing Christian writer, um, especially for just like these novels that really make you feel like you understand what they're going through. And it, I don't know, this book just like really changed my life, honestly. Just know the depths of God's love for me and it doesn't matter what I do, uh, I will still be loved. This book called Uninvited is about rejection and how we deal with that, how we internalize that. Um, and just for anybody who's ever felt lonely or left out or um, not good enough, it helped me a lot. And I actually read this after I got home from The Bachelor and realized some patterns that I had, just how I handled rejection, like how did I internalize that? So. This book really helped me and I think prepared me a lot for The Bachelorette. And I read this book, Captivating, when I was on The Bachelorette. In this book, um, there's also a, a companion book to it called Wild at Heart, which is about searching a man's soul. And this one is about unveiling the mystery of a woman's soul. And it was so awesome because it helped me kind of realize 
what I wanted, what I needed as a woman, what I was made and created to crave and to need and really know who I am and why I am the way that I am because a lot of those things were why we were created to be these awesome, amazing, mysterious, beautiful women that we all are. And then another big game changer in a different way was Untamed by Glennon Doyle. The experiences that I've had over the past few years have really made me question. And this book just busted me wide open. And I took so many notes on this book. There were some things that I was like, hmm, do I really see it that way? But a lot of things were just, I resonated with so much. And that's, what's a, that's what a good book is. Okay, so the last book I wanna introduce you guys to and just what this book is all about in general is The Road Back to You. When I read this book, it really helped me understand myself so much better. I felt seen. Uh, like in good ways and in bad ways. Uh, and reading this book really helped me understand other people too. Look, our lives are all about here on earth. They're about connection and being able to love other people in the best way. And so any book that can help me love myself more and love others, I'm all about. It was awesome. When I was younger, I used to think I was going to write a novel based off of my grandmother's life, but that I had the opportunity to write a book about my life. Uh, I call it a quarter life. <laughs> I call it a quarter life memoir about my quarter life crisis um, and how I even got there. Uh, that was a dream come true and something I could not just like say I did, but something that I feel like all of the ups and downs led me to be able to do. It's called God Bless This Mess and it's all about learning to live better through the ups and downs of life and the moments that feel like the worst but are sometimes in the end the best. Thank you guys so much for watching Shelf Portrait. Make sure to check out my new book God Bless This Mess and don't forget to subscribe to Marie Claire. Bye!